Measured Pencil. I'm Stephen Murray, and I am here with pencil expert Wes Nelson. Hello. It's Mrs. Doubtfire again. Hello. Are you in a Mrs. Doubtfire kind of mood? It was on at the gym the other day. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was on TV, and I was like, I hadn't seen this in a while, and I it was only at subtitles because I'm at the gym, but I couldn't help. 0.4 seconds into it being like this is the creepiest weirdest <laughs> idea ever and i cannot believe that any of us took this seriously <laughs> if this happened now no it would not be made it now. would not be made it's like unbelievably it's just crossing so many lines and boundaries and it's just so it's so bad i love robin williams but man that idea just does not age well and maybe it didn't at the time either. I was young when it came out. So right. maybe everyone else was like, this is dumb. But like Robin Williams can read a phone book and we would all would watch it. I would watch it. Yeah, so, totally. I don't know. Maybe I, my parents were wary of it, but they were wary of most movies. Oh, okay. So I, I, I don't know. I have no context for it. I have no context. How it was either. received at the time. All I know is it's very, very problematic, especially when he's talking to his kids after they figure it out. And he's like, you can't tell anyone. I'm like, oh, my God. No. <laughs> oh, boy. The secret's no. just between us. Like, oh, okay. So, listeners, you don't always hear, but sometimes we go <laughs> off on tangents. Uh, this even may be cut, but I don't know exactly what my transition was off of our tangent we're on a freeway and we're trying to get to the gas station and there's no exit ramp so we're just cutting across the median we're dodging bushes and pulled over semis and we're going off-roading here to get into this pencil and it is called are are we referencing seinfeld now oh god no (laughs) what pencil do you have morning glory sketch yes we made it we made it And what is the cool distinguishing factor of this pencil? Rectangular lead a la a construction carpentry type pencil, but much smaller. And a new brand. Morning Glory. Let's dive in. Featuring a unique rectangular lead, the Morning Glory Sketch 1000 lets you add expressive line variation to your sketches, drawings, and even pencil calligraphy. Its wide 1.8 millimeter lead is also great for filling in answer bubbles on multiple choice test sheets. The pencil features a unique and surprisingly comfortable rectangular body shape with three small indentations on either side for easier gripping. This should be used exactly for filling in ballots. That's perfect. Yeah. It's like a Scantron. Yeah. It's the perfect width for that. It's really cool. J.M. Durden from Jet Pens. Is that, is he related to Tyler Durden from Pike Club? Possibly. He doesn't say. An interesting pencil, four out of five stars. Bought it as a bit of a novelty, but I found myself using it more often than I had initially thought. The unorthodox lead shape allows a bit of mental freedom to not be so precious with general sketch work. Sure, it's just a mechanical carpenter's pencil, but it's nice. Now, I don't know where he's getting it that it's a carpenter's pencil other than the shape of the lead because it's not being billed as a carpenter's pencil at all. What did he say about not being so precious? I love that line. The unorthodox lead shape allows a bit of mental freedom to not be so precious with general sketch. That is my motto for the week. I'm going to take that and run with it. Thank you, J.M. Durden. Yeah. Jam from Jet Pen says... My friend got this for me, but I have to say this is weirdly one of the most comfortable drawing utensils I've used so far in my life. Something about the flat shape makes sense in your hand while using it. The weight is pretty light as well, so you don't really notice it in your hand. I wouldn't say it's the sturdiest pencil in the world. It kind of feels like those thicker, mattish plastic pencils that you get in those multicolored packs from, like, Target or something. But then again, I do have a soft spot for using more inexpensive art and writing supplies. Overall, it's a great pencil, and I'd recommend it if you're on the lookout for a mech pen that gives a thicker line with relatively decent line variation. Zaydu from Jet Pens says, This pencil is so unique and, can I say, a little bit quirky. Oh, you can say. I find it refreshes the joy of writing, drawing, and sketching. I keep looking for opportunities to use it. Refreshes the joy? This pencil is a delight. <laughs> It's a real palette cleanser. Real Rabbit from Jet Pen says, really comfortable to use when drawing, five out of five stars. I haven't used any of Morning Glory's products before, and I really hope they make a more premium variant of this pencil that uses the same 1.8 millimeter lead. This pencil doesn't really feel cheap, 
The plastic is nice and the whole pencil is put together pretty well, but having a chunkier metal pencil or having some more color options would be perfect. This thing is delightful. I'm going to say it again. I did not expect to like this. I expected this to be one of those episodes where we go, yeah, 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 cool pencil, moving on. Not that we would ever do that. We put a thousand percent effort into everything. <laughs> but honestly, I'm maybe being persuaded by those two reviews. It refreshes the joy of sketching. And what was the other one? Mental freedom. This thing is, yeah, it does do that. It's so, it's weird. It has this lead shape, which I would never think to ever in a million years use. But as soon as I start just randomly doodling with it, I'm having a ball. It's a weird shape. But man, it kind of just like, it's so weird. It kind of just gives me this room to play and to run and to roam, which I never would have expected. I never would have expected that to come from what feels like a very, very cheap pencil. The plastic body has this sort of cutout clip area, which, so the clip is actually part of the body. It doesn't, it's not its own piece. It just feels and looks like something that you would get for like 50 cents. But as soon as you start doodling with it, it changes in your hand. And that sounds weird, but I swear to you, you pick this thing up, it's going to transform. It's going to give you mental freedom, and it's going to refresh the drudgery of sketching. What do you think, Stephen? I have to admit, when I first put this in my hand, I got a little bit of PTSD from the moleskin, because that's the only oh, other... Oh, yeah. That's the only other rectangular-bodied pencil that we've reviewed so far. Yeah. I wish moleskin had put this level of thought into their pencil <laughs> which isn't a lot which isn't a lot but part of the joy of using this is you pick it up and say oh it isn't just a flat rectangular pencil there have been choices made here yeah it's so simple the copy refers to these three dots indentations on the grip yep and they're just wonderful yeah absolutely wonderful that clip you just described is just so cool how yeah. it's just notched into the whole body of the pencil there this is one of the few ones that doesn't have an eraser, but who cares? Who cares? I will have to say, though, this is, I, it's in the name. It's the Morning Glory Sketch. It's 100% a drawing pencil. Yeah. I've tried writing with it, and I just can't. No. So I'm a little less enamored of it than you are. You just, the point maintenance you have to do to maintain a usable angle on the rectangular lead is too much. And I got frustrated quickly and put it down and went to a, a regular circular lead. But if I was an artist or a sketch artist, absolutely, this is something I would go to. It's like getting into a, a manual transmission car. If yeah. you've never driven one or you're just not used to it, Like it just automatically forces you out of your comfort zone and into a new arena. That's what I love about it. I don't usually sketch. I'm not an artist. I barely doodle, but my page is full. It is. From just the last 10 minutes from this pencil, it's just fun. It's a delight. It's just odd and different. The lead shape just invites you to do crazy things with it. And it's also under $3, so yeah, super affordable. So you are a buy it on this? Absolutely. I'm going to say check it out if you're interested in something different or if you are a sketch artist or a drawer. But if you're just looking for a writing experience, I think you could move on and I'd pass on this. Now Wes looks very sad. Well, agree to disagree, Stephen. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and I'm sorry to tap down your delight. <laughs> Thank you for listening to The Measured Pencil. Have a good week. This was The Measured Pencil with Wes Nelson and Stephen Murray. Theme song and additional music composed and performed by Josh Baumgartner. Additional production support by Two Desk Productions. If you want to see what the pencils look like, please follow us on Instagram at The Measured Pencil. If you'd like to share your pencil story, please record a short audio file, maybe one to two minutes, and email it to us at themeasuredpencil at gmail.com. Or if you'd like us to review your favorite pencil, please email us with the name and it might appear on a future episode. Thanks for listening.